What does repenting for your sins really mean? We must get a deeper understanding by learning about its true significance. Repentance is an important part of our faith. It involves turning away from sins and wrongdoing, seeking forgiveness, and dedicating yourself to following God. What is repentance? Repentance is a process of realizing our wrongdoings, seeking forgiveness, expressing regret for all our sins, turning away from our sins, and then making changes in our lives that demonstrate that we are changing. Notice that I use the word process. This is not something that happens overnight. You can make the decision to repent right away. However, the desires that are within you may take time to fully turn away from. So don't compare yourself to someone else's journey. Run your own race. And don't allow anyone to determine what your process should look like. Remember that you are on God's timing, not man's. Understand the process of repenting. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Ephesians 1-7 The process of repenting for sins is not just about asking for forgiveness. It's about reflecting on what has been done and deciding to make different choices in the future. Repentance requires a person to change their mindset and outlook about life instead of just saying sorry for their mistake or offering empty promises of change. Repenting for sins also means opening up and being honest with God about all that has taken place. Watch this video on how to change your mindset and change your life. Reflection and Self-Examination Let us test and examine our ways and return to the Lord. Limitation 340 Have you ever considered how reflecting on our sins can help bring us closer to God? As we examine our behavior, we also become aware of our need for repentance and the mercy of a loving God. Reflecting on our sins is not so we can condemn ourselves. It's so we can recognize our shortcomings and make the necessary adjustments. We can acknowledge and take responsibility for our actions. This will help us move forward with a greater sense of purpose and to make more positive choices in the future. Receive forgiveness for your sins. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 to 9. It's important to mention that receiving forgiveness from God is not something we get because of what we do. Forgiveness is given to us through our faith in Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross. In his mercy and loving kindness, he gave us a way out of our evil ways. It's up to us to genuinely change our ways so we can have eternal life. Receiving forgiveness from God can bring comfort, peace, and hope. It can help to heal emotional wounds and improve relationships, leading to greater happiness and well-being. Make changes to live a spiritual life. You were taught, with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Ephesians 4 24 Repenting for your sins doesn't mean that you're automatically guaranteed to live a spiritual life. You are responsible for making the necessary changes within yourself in order to truly live a spiritual life from this point on. This means having the discipline to study the word, the willpower to resist temptation, to take care of yourself, and to show patience, understanding, and grace towards others. As you make genuine changes for the better, you will find more peace, joy, and fulfillment in all areas of your life. Steps to change behavior. Changing behavior and avoiding sin can be a challenging process, but it can be achieved with determination and effort. Here are some steps that may help. 1. Acknowledge and accept responsibility. Recognizing the impact of your actions and accepting responsibility for them is an important first step in changing behavior. 2. Seek forgiveness, asking for forgiveness from those affected by your actions, as well as seeking forgiveness from God. 3. Practice self-reflection. Regular self-reflection can help to identify patterns of behavior that lead to sin and make it easier to avoid them in the future. 4. Seek support. Talking with a trusted friend, family member, or pastor can provide support and encouragement as you work to change behavior. 5. Establish healthy habits. Developing positive habits and routines can help to replace negative behaviors and provide a structure for growth. 6. Learn from past experiences. Reflecting on past experiences and considering what can be learned from them can provide valuable insights to avoid similar situations in the future. 7. Seek knowledge and understanding. Reading the Bible daily can help to provide a clear understanding of what is considered sin and how to avoid it. Remember, changing behavior is a gradual process and requires time, patience, and effort. 
It's important to be kind and compassionate with yourself and to celebrate small victories along the way. Can God Reject Repentance? We believe that God is loving and merciful, and that He desires all people to repent and be saved. However, it is also believed that God is just and holy, and that there are certain conditions that must be met for repentance to be accepted. The Bible teaches that God will not accept repentance from those who continue to persist in sin and refuse to turn away from it. For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Hebrews 10:26-27. We also believe that if someone does not truly repent, but only pretends to do so, their repentance will not be accepted by God. Our motives matter when it comes to the things of the kingdom. We can try to put on an act in front of man, but the Lord knows our hearts. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and in your name dry out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. Matthew 7, 21, 23. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe so you can be notified of future videos. Also, please share this video so we can spread the word together. God bless you.